It's reading time with Steffi. Welcome to my channel. The book that I have chosen today is Little People, Big Dreams, David Attenborough, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara. Please subscribe to my channel as I'm adding new books each week. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. Little David grew up in Leicester, England, with his parents and two brothers. His father was the head of the local university, and they lived on campus, a great place for curious minds. David loved nature and animals. Ants, birds, chameleons. He was fascinated by all the species he'd read about in books and wished he could meet them in real life. He often went for long bike rides to find and collect fossils. There was something amazing about plants and animals that were thousands of years old. One day, David received a package from a friend with a new piece for his collection. A dried seahorse. It wasn't his birthday, but it was the day he decided to become a naturalist. David studied geology and zoology and obtained a degree in natural science. But he didn't want to just observe animals, he wanted to meet them too. David started to work as a broadcaster in television, a new technology at the time. He brought animals from the zoo to the studio. They were very entertaining guests. But David wanted to film the animals in their natural habitats, their homes. He started to go on trips all over the world. Wherever he went, he made new friends. He met turtles on the Galapagos Islands and gorillas in the African jungle. When he visited Antarctica, he was introduced to all the members of a penguin family. One of his shows, Wildlife on One, became the most popular in British history. It was a great programme about biology that united audiences of all generations. Later, David was honoured for his incredible documentaries about life on our planet. He also received a knighthood and is today called Sir David. Many animals and planets were named after him. A rare butterfly, a snail, a prehistoric lion, a spider, even a carnivorous planet. Today, David continues to care about the natural world. Wherever he goes, he encourages people to do their best to look after it and believes that humans have the power to preserve it. And little David still looks at the world as if it's huge and unexplored. Because there are always new things to discover if you take the time to look for them. David Attenborough, born in 1926. David Attenborough was born into an educated family in Leicester, England. His mother was a linguist and his father a professor. As a child, fossil hunting and collecting nature specimens became David's passion. This appetite for learning stayed with him, and as a young man, David won a scholarship to study zoology and geology at Cambridge University. His studies were paused when he was called up for the National Service in the Royal Navy in 1947, but he later returned to gain another degree in anthropology combining a love for the natural world with an understanding of human behaviour. David became known for his unique approach to broadcasting at the BBC. Speaking in a hushed tone full of excitement, David filmed his first show in 1957, The Pattern of Animals and ZooQuest. He wanted to find ways to connect audiences to the natural world, 
and the opportunity to do so came about when colour television was introduced to the BBC in 1967. His groundbreaking series, Life on Earth, transported audiences from their living room to the world in a totally new way. This was the first of many pioneering shows, including Wildlife on One, The Private Life of Plants and Blue Planet, all of which changed human understanding about our place in nature. David believed that no one will protect what they don't care about, and no one will care about what they have never experienced. In his 90s, David continues to make audiences all over the world care.